Hello there, and welcome back to another thing of the Outer Worlds. Thank you again for joining me. If you like what I'm doing, just hit that like button. If you want to see other videos, hit subscribe. Well, without further ado, and no more gilding the lily, let's get to it. Alright, so this time, we're gonna help out the vicar. Oh, Reginald. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Okay, the woolly cow. Ooh, let's see if I can modify my guns or anything. Let's hit the Monarch. AGL 111A Monarch, one of the Olympus mini satellites, which should have been Halcyon the second habitable. Well, <laughs> what should have been Halcyon the second habitable world has long since been abandoned by the bar due to the board due to monstrous ravenous creatures. Wow, sounds like fun. Or not. We're not going there. Alright. Instead of doing that, <laughs> we're going to find Captain Iron on Skillia. Skillia. Dr. Dorset and Dr. Dorset said that Captain Iron is most likely somewhere on Skelia. Go find him and make sure he is okay. Yeah, we're going to Skelia instead. If we go to Monarch, something tells me we're gonna blow up the ship. Destination reached. All right, Vicar, rolling this time. Scylla. Well, an S and a C. Scylla. All right. Ford had an asteroid mining operation out here. I wonder what happened to him. Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe on a loose rock here. All right, let's see what this uh, thing has to say. Okay. Blast them. Out of my way! Booyah! I've had quite enough of you! Booyah! Yeah! That's what you get! Ah! Lots more there. 
Danger, Will Robinson. What up, though? Sure. I'll make my way there. Be right there. Attacking. Self, keep the plasma gun up. Okay. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Okay. Captain Iron, I take it? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker, even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. You ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. I guess that's gratitude for you.
Uh, dude. You saved me the cost of ammunition. Thanks, pal. All right. I guess that was a quick trip. All right, let's head back to the groundbreaker then. All right, let's see what's next. We could ask Glad. I guess we could ask Ada about that cleaning thing. All right, guys, get on. How can I be of assistance? Know anything about the Uttermick gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. All right, thanks, Ada. Talk to you later. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get it tipped back to the groundbreaker. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Alright, Felix, since you're in trouble around here, we're gonna leave you. Come on, Pavardi. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo's worth a lot of money. Well, you probably should have insured it then. It is. I'm just trying to make small talk. It ain't small enough. I'm working here. Shoo. <laughs> Damn. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. No problem. All 
All right, let's talk to. Let's talk to Gladdy. had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Sure did. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated the distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it. Well, that's just... just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain there's nothing left. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I wanted to ask you something else. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Why'd the board recall Stellar Bay nav keys? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Alright, you mentioned the groundbreakers outside of the board's control. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. That's all for now. Party. Is it just me, or has it been? How much money do I have? Oh, I have eight thousand. Ooh, almost there. Liquid. It's my name, don't wear it out. My name is Liquid. Better than usual. <laughs> Chief wants to reduce board traffic. Give tramp freighting. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? Let's talk to the bartender. Let's see what we've got for sale. Nothing you need and everything you want.
You're spending large tonight, ma'am. Just... Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just... Do it proper. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and I feel my heart shake. Hey, if you really want to get drunk, let's do this with whiskey. Well, drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up! Whiskey's a fine choice. Think I may have a glass myself. What up, Max? Oh! No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just... with Junlei. I don't know what to do about... us. Oh. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What's she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? <laughs> what is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Water's for cowards. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. About what? Um... Everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? There's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. What do you mean, Captain? <laughs> Trying to manage other people's feelings will drive you crazy. So I should just be myself? You sound like my dad. It's sweet. No. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. <laughs> so what? We all do. Oh, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Anytime. Do you think I should ask her on a... a date? Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. 
Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Uh, she, she huh. wasn't talking to you. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. We've been on, like, two missions together. You want to start a commune? So we got eight thousand. We're looking for ten thousand to get that nav key. Down on twenty-two. That you did a contract for Sublight. Only one. Wait, hang on. Before we leave, see if uh, Have either of the assault cruisers ever. This bartender has anything for us to do. Make some extra scratch. We need two thousand more dollars, more bits. Purple very punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt. What'll it be? All the traders in the system come through here. Heard anything interesting? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? Yeah, it does seem weird. Nothing right now, thanks. Exactly where we're going. We're going to Monarch. Let's find this Reginald Cheney. Monsters be damned. We'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Put him on screen. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Okay. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Never mind. There's a mistake. Ada, get me out of here. Yes, Captain. Initiating travel sequence to the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. 
Man, there's gotta be some more ways to make money. Let's talk to Pavardi. Oh, that whiskey to get my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. Did you talk to June Lei? I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? With the headache I got after that whiskey? One million times no. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So, June Lake does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way as possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Sweet. Uh, Alright, so... We need to make some money. Oh, wait. 